speaking to the US TV host, the Duchess revealed her struggles as her daughter has now started teething. In a clip ahead of the interview, DeGeneres, 63, revealed Lilibet, who was born in June is now teething. In response, Meghan, 40, asks for anything to relieve that. DeGeneres quips, tequila in response to the Duchess. Meghan then claims that's Auntie Ellen for you before the host jokingly revealed that's why she doesn't have children, as reported by People magazine. The interview is due to be shared on Friday and is the first time the Duchess has appeared on television since her interview with Oprah Winfrey in March. The preview clip also shows Meghan reminiscing about her auditions in the same Warner Bros. studio. She also joked that she was forced to drive an old Ford Explorer Sports which had a faulty driver's side door. As the key wouldn't work, the Duchess would have to find more ingenious ways to get into her car. She said, the security guards would always say, break a leg. We hope you get it. So the drive in today was very, I would park in the back of the parking lot and open the trunk, then climb in and pull it shut behind me and crawl over all my seats to get out. That's how I would come to and fro. Teasing the full interview, DeGeneres said, a lot has changed since the last time Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, was on the Warner Brothers lot. Don't miss the rest of our interview tomorrow. The pair reportedly became friends after a chance meeting at a dog shelter in Los Angeles in 2012. Prior to the interview, Meghan and Harry attended the Salute to Freedom Gala, at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum. The Duke told the audience at the Intrepid Museum, it's wonderful to be back on USS Intrepid a decade after my last visit, and a lot has changed since then. Just last week, I went for a ride on the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, how's that for living the American dream? I've lived in the US for close to two years now. I have to say, witnessing your support for all those that put themselves in harm's way in defense of our freedoms and liberties, it's remarkable and hugely respected. It reminds me of the deep reverence us Brits have for our military as well. The armed forces communities in both our countries share a special bond, and I'm grateful to have served in support of our joint allyship for many years.